Coming up to 13 past the hour, correspondent Tom Mentier is watching his shuttle come back to Earth as we speak. And we can actually see it now in the live TV pictures that are coming from California. The space shuttle Discovery has crossed the coast and is now headed for Edwards Air Force Base. They're about uh, 45,000 feet right now. Uh, they dropped down to about 24,000 feet. They're dropping very, very rapidly. Uh, when they crossed the coast of California a few minutes ago, they were at 109,000 feet and uh, traveling about 24,000 feet per second. Uh, the uh, speed as they come across the coast is pretty high. We're, uh, it may appear to be pretty small on your uh, TV screen. Uh, it's right above the center, a small black spot. They use very long range cameras uh, at Edwards Air Force Base to be able to uh, see the shuttle as it uh, is probably 15, 20 miles away. They come across Edwards Air Force Base and uh, make a, a turn and uh, try to slow down their speed. Roger, Joe, we copy. And your winds are 250 at 17, gusting to 21. Roger that. When they land, they land in excess of uh, speeds of 200 miles an hour when they touch down the runway. Altitude 10,000 feet. Sending at 172 feet per second. Predicted touchdown speed 195 knots. This mission is being called one of the most successful and by Houston, NASA. We show you slightly below glide slope and slightly right of center line. Okay. Launching three satellites and repairing a fourth and redeploying it, the SINCOM 3 satellite that was uh, sent up in April. This uh, is probably the best endorsement uh, NASA would hope to get the ability to fix a satellite in space and then send it back out. Their direct competitors in the European Space Agency uh, don't offer that service, and it's uh, one of the selling points uh, that NASA tries to use. About 285 knots. Discovery clearly visible now uh, as it uh, is coming up on the end of the runway. Less than a thousand feet now. Gear doors open, gear coming down. Gear locked. Touchdown on main gear. Discovery rolling out now at 195 knots and touchdown on nose gear. Although this was uh, legally by NASA terms a nighttime landing, uh, it is uh, clearly almost daylight in California now. Uh, I think it figured out to about nine minutes before actual sunrise that the uh, shuttle was scheduled to land. And uh, hardly a, a nighttime landing, a twilight uh, pre-dawn landing, and just barely. They fired the rockets uh, yesterday to give them an additional 10 miles in their orbit, 10 miles in height. And uh, that delayed their landing by a couple of minutes. Uh, enabling them to get closer to the sunrise. So the Space Shuttle Discovery has rolled to a stop. It'll be a little while before the uh, astronauts are brought out of Discovery. They will do some checks to make sure there are no dangers posed to the astronauts or anyone else working around the shuttle. And uh, we, of course, will be hearing more this afternoon from the astronauts. Once again, wrapping up uh, what NASA calls one of their most successful missions in all of the 20 flights, the ability to repair and redeploy a satellite the CINCOM-3 that was launched in April, and according to uh, information that the Hughes Communications Company is providing now, the health of the satellite is improving, and they're trying to warm it up slowly. We could expect to hear something on that satellite uh, actually being sent out into space sometime in late October. So once again, Discovery is back, and it was a picture-perfect landing just before the sun was coming up. Bob? Thank you, Tom. We're coming up now to eight min 18 minutes past the hour. We're now going to take you uh, back to California, where we understand the uh, astronauts aboard the George shuttle Abbey Discovery are just now operation. coming out of the uh, shuttle. Of course, you saw the live pictures of the very successful landing this morning at uh, Edwards Air Force Base in California.
The sun is uh, now coming up, so we're seeing a bit of daylight. This was a uh, just before dawn landing of the shuttle. One of the marvelous accomplishments of this flight in the repair of the disabled shuttle that the astronauts accomplished in their spacewalk, I think is being perceived as uh, the competitive uh, edge that it in injects into this country's space program, which is in competition with the European Space Agency. The Europeans, however, use an unmanned rocket to put their satellites up, and this time we demonstrated, and that is this country's space program demonstrated that it can clearly do things that the Ariane rocket and the European Space Agency cannot. This mission of the, the shuttle Discovery was uh, hampered a bit by delays in getting off the ground originally, but once it got up there, it accomplished many things, including uh, deploying three satellites and uh, doing some repair work on the CINCOM-3 satellite. That's the one that's been up there uh, doing nothing since it was uh, deployed back in April. Andrew Engel now uh, kicking the tires of his vehicle. <laughs> Always the first thing that uh, the captain of any craft wants to do is come out and check the ship and make sure it's still in good shape after any kind of a flight, especially one uh, to the distances if they've gone to. Houston, Discovery. Discovery Houston, how you doing, Marsha? Okay, got a master alarm. I can't shut off here. Hmm. Okay. You're getting a lot of uh, thermal APU messages you can ignore. I don't know why you can't shut off the master alarm. Okay, I think I got it now. And communications continue between at least Edwards Air Force Base and Mission Control at Houston. There's the overall landing scene on the Mojave Desert, where landing took place just about 40 minutes ago. At about 9.16 a.m., the shuttle touched down. Right on schedule. Yes, precisely. We will be uh, bringing you uh, more reports on uh, how everything fared from that mission completed this morning. And uh, we want to give you one more look at that successful touchdown out in California, just as dawn was about to break this morning.